Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I am Kahir Chisite with the evening news. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav is a golden opportunity to connect youth emotionally with nation building. State government says first batch of MBBS for Medical College Kohima will be admitted in 2023-24 session. Home Minister Amit Shah says country's handloom sector signifies its rich, diverse cultural heritage and Chakdeep Dankar to be sworn in as 14th Vice President of India on Thursday. Now the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav is creating an atmosphere of patriotic zeal in the country and it is a golden opportunity to establish the emotional connection of the youth with nation building. The Prime Minister was addressing the third National Committee meeting on Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav in New Delhi yesterday. Modi said the committees at national, state and district levels have been working day and night to take Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav to the masses. He said success of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav is due to the contribution of every citizen of the country. The Prime Minister said the emotional flavour of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav is the core of the camping. He said Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav is a sanskar utsav for the youth which will fill them with the undying passion to contribute for the country. Modi said the current generation will be the leaders of tomorrow and therefore we have to inculcate in them a sense of duty and responsibility now to realize the dreams and vision of India at 100. He said the technological revolution has stepped up the speed of change tremendously. In his closing remarks, the Prime Minister said we must nourish and nurture our unity and promote India as Ek Bharat Shreshtha Bharat because a united nation is a progressive nation. Modi said we are passing through a period of Amrit Kal marked by the spirit of Sankalp Se Siddhi which will take our country to the peak of success in the next 25 years. The state government has said that Naglin will have the first medical college in July 2023 by admitting the first batch of MBBS for the session 2023-24. This was submitted by the government respondents during the hearing of a public interest litigation on the progress of setting up the first medical college in Kohima to the Guwahati High Court Kohima Bench on Wednesday. The state government respondent said that efforts to start the medical college by this year could not be done due to non-completion of college building, other infrastructural requirements and other important documents from the National Medical Commission. Further, the respondent submitted that the manpower requirement as prepared by medical department has been approved by the cabinet. Following the approval, 60 posts including the post of director or dean have been created. A person from West Bengal has already been considered for appointment of the said post. The state government also said that it is taking appropriate steps to obtain necessary documents from the National Medical Commission so that the first batch of MBBS can be admitted on time. It said the infrastructure requirements will be completed as per the revised timeline. The matter will be listed again next month where the court will hear the progress of the work. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today urged all youngsters associated with the world of startups to take part in Handloom Startup Grand Challenge, My Handloom, My Pride. Modi said it is an excellent opportunity to ideate and innovate for weavers. The Prime Minister also posted a video in his Twitter handle on National Handloom Day. The video is a tribute to country's rich cultural diversity and all those working to celebrate artistic traditions. Home and Corporation Minister Amit Shah said the country's handloom sector signifies its rich and diverse cultural heritage. Shah said that in 2015, Prime Minister Narendra Modi had declared August 7 as the National Handloom Day to commemorate the Swadeshi movement that began in 1905 on the same day and to revive this Indian ancient art. He said it is also aimed at encouraging countrymen to use handloom products weaved by indigenous weavers. Shah said on this 8th National Handloom Day, all should join hands to further the Modi government's resolve to preserve and promote handloom heritage and empower handloom weavers, especially women. Jack Deep Dankar will be sworn in as 14th Vice President of India on Thursday. National Democratic Alliance NDA candidate 
Jagdeep Dhankar has been elected as 14th Vice President of India. Dhankar received 528 votes defeating the opposition's candidate Margaret Alva who got 182 votes. Dunker swept the polls with 72.8% of the valid votes cast during the polls yesterday. His victory margin is the highest in last six vice presidential poll. Dunker will take oath of office a day after the term of the incumbent vice president M. Venkaya Naidu ends. Dunker will also be appointed the ex official chairman of the Rajya Sabha. President Draupadi Murmu, Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Union Ministers and several leaders have congratulated Dunker on winning the vice presidential election. In a tweet, President Murmu said the nation will benefit from his long and rich experience of public life. Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu said the nation will greatly benefit from Dunker's vast experience and legal expertise. Prime Minister Narendra Modi met Vice President-elect soon after his election to the office at his residence in Delhi and conveyed his greetings and best wishes. This news comes to you from All India Radio Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News on the Air app and YouTube channel AIR News Kohima. The Common University Entrance Test Undergraduate, CUETUG, for candidates who were affected by the cancellation of examination last week due to technical glitches will now be conducted from 24th to 28th of August. UGC Chairman Professor M. Jagdish Kumar said, fresh admit cards will be issued for candidates whose exam was cancelled. In second phase, the exam scheduled between 4th and 6th of August were deferred at few centres due to administrative and technical reasons. Kumar said, the third phase of CUET UG on 17th 18th and 20th of this month will be conducted as the schedule informed to the candidates earlier. Meanwhile, the CUET UG started off well in all the centres across the country today. More than 206 crore 21 lakh COVID-19 vaccine doses have been administered in the country so far under nationwide vaccination drive. The Health Ministry said more than 29 lakh 58,000 doses were administered in the last 24 hours. During the same period, 18,738 new COVID cases were reported in the country. India's active caseload currently stands at over 1,34,000 and it is at 0.31%. The recovery rate is currently at 98.50%. A total of 18,558 people have recovered in the last 24 hours. At the Commonwealth Games, India clinched two gold medals in boxing at Birmingham today. Pugilist Amit Pangal overcame Karen MacDonald of England in the final of men's 51kg event, while Neetu Gangas defeated Demi Jade Reston on, of England in women's 48kg final to clinch yellow medals. In women's hockey, India defeated New Zealand 2-1 in penalty shootout to win bronze medal in the ongoing games. With this, India's overall medal tally has risen to 43, which includes 15 gold, 11 silver and 17 bronze medals. President Draupadi Murmu, Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Sports Minister Anurag Singh Thakur congratulated the winners. And now, to end the news, here are the main points once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav is a golden opportunity to connect youth emotionally with nation building. State government says first batch of MBBS for Medical College Kohima will be admitted in 2023-24 session. Home Minister Amit Shah says country's handroom sector signifies its rich, diverse cultural heritage. And Jagdeep Dankar to be sworn in as 14th Vice President of India on Thursday. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.